Today we will explain network aggregation. Network aggregation is when you have more than one network card and they team up together. We will use FreeBSD 8.2 in this elaboration. And if you want to skip the theory part, you can move forward in the video until you see the VMware window. So let's begin with explaining what the name is of the service. In FreeBSD, this service is named lag. It's not lag as a lagging network, it's called lag. So um, this has category number four in the man page. There are different protocols when we are using lag and three of the most used ones is fast ethernet channel. This one is from Cisco. And it's uh, short word is FEC. And uh, I think I would like to explain a bit what this, uh, what we need if we're going to use this one. Uh, this one requires Cisco switches that are in a price class of medium to high price class. And uh, what uh, you will do with this is that network cards are connected into one switch or more switches. They are all acting like one network card instead. So all, for example, if you have three network cards, all the three network cards will work together as one single unit. And um, this is the same for the other one, the other protocol, which is called Link Aggregation Control Protocol. The difference to LACP compared to the Cisco is that this one functions on uh, most supported uh, normal switches. So that exp and so the, this one is the one that we will make elaboration on today. Today tutorial. Sorry, I'm writing terribly. And um, the same as LACP and the one with the Cisco, that is the the fast Ethernet channel, are working in a way like this. Here we have our server. The server has more network cards than only one. So let's say that we have two network cards to start with. We can make three L's. So here we have one network interface card. That's why it's an ick. I'm going to, I'm making three of them. Let's call this one nick zero. This is nick number one. And let's make a third one. Nick number two. Okay, so these three network cards uh, will work together. And to make them work together, we need to initialize lag. So we are creating a free BSD. Uh, notice now that this is the uh, all the server here. This part is the physical machine. Physical machine. I'm terrible at spelling. Uh, and uh, in FreeBSD, we configure a lag, which is a sort of uh, it's a virtual a virtual network card. I would call it virtual network card would be more probably. So then we set up lag zero, which is a virtual network card number zero. This one contains all these three network cards together. So we are going to bind all these three network cards into one virtual, which is called lag zero. And then we're going to set up the IP address for the lag zero card. In this case, we're going to give it 192.168.0.77. This is what I will get that address I will give to it. 
so when we do this, we will end up with uh, one virtual network card, which has uh, three physical network cards bound to it. And uh, these three network cards will bring uh, all their bandwidths together in one. So in case that we have uh, that all of these cards are gigabit, one gigabit each, it will be a simple addition of one gigabit uh, each will become three gigabit together. So they get uh, an added bandwidth. And um, what more? We they will be fail safe because all these three cards will work together in case one crashes the server will continue so let's call it failsafe in, in case that we have one network card let's say that the, the one here crashes then we will it, the server will still run and send package and receive package on the other two so this will uh, on, only one thing will happen that we lose one network card's bandwidth so it will be 2 gigabit instead of 3 so this sounds very good both the performance thing and the fail safe thing and the third good thing with the protocol LACP we are going to use is that it's suppo well supported And I think this is enough of theory. Just going to recap a bit. One server with multiple network cards are bind to one virtual network card which serves one address. Okay, so let's move on to the to the elaboration now. When I make this lab I'm using a virtual machine and uh, you can use uh, do the same thing on a, a physical machine just that we will have different network card names I'm going to add the network cards because my virtual machine doesn't have any if you're running VMware you simply do like this first stand on the virtual machine you want to use press VM select settings shortcut is use control D and in here, you take the add button. Now you can add a network adapter. You want to have one that is bridged. Then it will be able to communicate as if it was a real IP address going out from your physical machine. Okay, let's add three of those. We can add two, but I add three because I want one extra. Or simply add as many as you want. Going to check so I... Okay, everyone is bridged. Now I press OK. You can see the options has been applied here. And we can launch our machine. While this machine is launching, uh, I would like to add some extra information that when we use lag, we have one great advantage compared the fail. You know the failsafe we were speaking about. If one network card crashes, without lag, it would be a little bit difficult to set up. If you imagine, for each network card else, we would get a unique IP address on each card. If that address of that card, I mean the the card is crashing, which holds the address, then uh, the servers will be pointing to an address that doesn't exist anymore. In lag. They will all have the same IP address old network cards. And thanks to this, in case one card is crashing, uh, other cards are serving that address. We are going to edit the etcrc.com file. I'm going to use the VI editor. In case you want to use a simpler editor, I was getting an advice that you can use the EE editor. This should be a very simple editor, and you just press escape to bring up the menu. 
I just recommend using VI because VI editor uh, will be it's a standard to like you should know it to be able to use uh, an administer a Unix system so I recommend learning it all right I'm going to edit etcrc.com and we go to the bottom and now we are going to add the network cards I almost forgot one thing we have to check the names of the network card so let's go out from this menu to be able to check the network card names you do like this ifconfig which is the command to bring out the information about the, the network cards here you will locate uh, your network cards. In my case, I have three of them, since I have them. This name is not the same, because this name depends on what manufacturer you have on your network card. In this case, uh, it's EM0, first card. The second one is EM1. Third is EM2. So just remember what the names are on your network cards now. Because we need them when we edit the, the etc rc.conf. I go back to this file now and begin to edit it. So we need to do as following. First we need to create our virtual network card with this aggregator one. It's done like this. You write cloned underscore interfaces. Notice that it's interfaces and the name of it. I name it lag zero. After, and so this line creates, like in its initialized, the uh, virtual aggregated network card. Now we need to bring up all the network card we should use. Don't forget the double quotation there. For each card we should use, we need to use ifconfig underscore the name of the car equals double quotation up. We've been adding all three cards now. Now we need to assign these cards to be added inside of the lag zero virtual interface. And it's done by following. Now we don't now it's ifconfig underscore lag zero equals and I put a double quotation directly so I don't forget it. This one lag proto is determining what protocol we want to use for our lag aggregating and uh, you, you we, we are going to use LACP and now we need to assign the cards to it lag port followed by the network name for each card so EM0, EM0. and then again lag port EM1 and the last one, lag port EM2. And now we just add the IP address. And then we need to add the net mask. So this is everything you need to add. For this, uh, because we take and recap again, this creates the virtual network card, the lag aggregated one. This brings the cards up we're going to use, and then we need to configure the aggregated network card to select protocol with lag proto and what protocol, lag port to add the network cards, and then you add the IP address and the net mask. Now it should only be to save this and reboot the system.
if everything went okay, we should have one network card now called lag zero. And the IP address is assigned to it. I'm going to do ifconfig pipe more to be able to get everything on the screen so we can scroll through it. Here you see first of all the all the network cards here, the one uh, zero one and two, and and down here we find lag zero. So here you have the virtual network card we created. You can see what IP address it's assigned. You can see the net mask. It's in a hexadecimal form. And you can see that it's active. Its lag protocol is L LACP. And uh, the lag ports uh, are the cards connected. So all you do now basically is to connect all the, the network cards into the same switch or you can divide uh, to put uh, more switches on different uh, to put the different network cards on one switch and not on the others on another one uh, I think that you will find what how you want to build your network this was everything for now and thank you for watching